Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. I'm not doing that well myself. Matt Miller was one of my K-State football heroes. And here's the backstory. I got out of the newspaper business and started a fan magazine for the Wichita Eagle in 1995. The first road game I covered as I plunged out of the known into the unknown, gambling my career on what I thought would be a budding industry was a road game by Kansas State at Cincinnati and one that the Wildcats probably should have lost. But Matt Miller and Kevin Lockett teamed up on a miraculous final play of the game to win. And from then on, I kind of felt good about my decision. And I always felt good about Matt. He eventually became a coach and we bonded that way. And when the coaching world turned in another direction, Matt went off in his career did his thing and ran into some personal issues. We grew apart, we didn't stay in contact. A few years ago or a few months ago, maybe 18 months ago, I heard from a buddy that Matt had advanced prostate cancer. I too have advanced prostate cancer, the difference being his had gone metastatic and by the time he was diagnosed, it was probably too late. Matt was 47 at the time of diagnosis. 47. Matt had serious, serious symptoms. He should have been going to a doctor, but he thought it was related to other decisions he'd made in his life, an unhealthy lifestyle. He ignored it until he ended up in the emergency room and being life flighted. At 47, his cancer had spread out of his prostate, throughout his body, bones, everywhere. We lost Matt Miller today. at age 49 and this is why I'm pissed off because even if Matt had caught this early had gone to a doctor at age 46 or 45 and said hey I've got these issues I don't know what's going on in all likelihood the doctor would not have tested him for prostate cancer because the medical community has decided it's not worth testing men until age 50 when we know darn well when you get prostate cancer in your 40s or 50s, it's going to be aggressive and it's going to kill you if you don't treat it. This one hangs on the medical community. Stop killing men through neglect by restricting access to PSA testing. Insurance companies, come around. Insurance companies. Do what you did with breast cancer in the 1980s. Remember when you didn't want to cover mammograms. You didn't want women doing self-diagnosis, searching for lumps in their own breasts because you knew better. Again, you are failing. You are failing America. You are failing the world. Through my journey with prostate cancer, and as you know, I'm fortunate enough to be in remission now for my stage four cancer. I've met a lot of guys and I've, I've bonded with literally from all over the world. I'm in a support group with, filled with Irishmen and Englishmen and just over the other side of the pond. They have their own battles with the system, medical system in which they're operating that is not good. It's not good at all. But here in America, we should all have access to medical care. We don't. We should, or we just don't do it. I could go on and on about why I'm so angry about this. But Matt Miller was a warrior. Man, he fought this crap. He fought it till the end. Men, do me a favor. Do Matt a favor. If you're over 45, go to your doctor, check your PSA score. It's a simple blood test for God's sakes. A poke of the needle. If they're doing other blood panels on you, they can just check another box. It is not intrusive. It's not painful. You don't get a finger up your butt. None of that that might scare you. It's a blood test. The best way to defeat prostate cancer is early detection. The best way to early detection is the PSA score. And even if you don't have it, you will now have a baseline score. A score that you know is what you should have when you're healthy. 
So if it begins to rise, even not to levels that the doctors consider dangerous, you will be alerted that something's going on. All of you, whether it's prostate cancer or some other form of cancer, colorectal cancer is another killer of men. You might be tough. You might not like going to the doctor. But you're not tougher than untreated cancer. I wish I could build a time machine and take Matt to the doctor when he was 45. But Matt sent a message out in his final months. I did a podcast with him, the Life of Fitz podcast. You can find that on all the podcast platforms. He sent the same message I am. Get to your doctor, guys. It could save your life. And hopefully when he left us, he left a message that will save other lives. And cancer might have taken Matt, but he saved others on the way out the door. Bless you, Matt. I love you, Bucky.